Welcome to another cloud computing video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to demonstrate some top free cloud applications. In other words, I'm going to show you some software that runs in a web browser and which you can use for free just by clicking on the links in this video. Firstly, let's look at Google Docs, a tried and trusted cloud word processor, spreadsheet, presentations and drawing package. As with all cloud software, using Google Docs means that you can always access your work from any computer. Files can also be uploaded or downloaded in a range of standard formats, as well as created from scratch. The Google Docs word processor is basic but fast and stable, and I have personally already used it to write an entire book. The Google Docs spreadsheet is also very solid and allows users to insert not just standard charts, but also animated diagrams and maps linked to spreadsheet data. By creating a Google Docs form, it is also possible to automatically conduct an online survey. While you can use Google Docs privately or by yourself, the collaborative features are also very good indeed. Once permissions are granted, multiple users can work on a document simultaneously and can even open a chat window. There is also a mobile version of Google Docs that allows you to access your documents on a smartphone. Finally, any kind of file can be uploaded and stored in the one gigabyte of free file space. Google Docs can therefore be used to make online backups. It's also great for sharing files too large to attach to an email. For example, when I needed to send the figures and screenshots for my latest book to my publisher, I just uploaded them to Google Docs and shared the folder in which they were located. Since June 2010, Google Docs has faced competition from Microsoft Office web apps. These are online versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote and can be accessed from Windows Live SkyDrive. In contrast to Google Docs, Office web apps are very much intended as a complement to a locally installed Office suite. Documents appear with full formatting when in view mode, but are displayed more simplistically when being edited. The collaborative functionality is also rather weak. This said, Office web apps do feature a familiar Microsoft ribbon, as well as a generous 25 gigabytes of free online storage. Pixlr is an absolutely superb online image editor and offers a very powerful range of tools. These include layers, a history brush and a wide range of real-time filters. In fact, there is functionality included in Pixlr that's not available in some traditional image editing packages including Photoshop elements. Anybody can use Pixlr for free without even registering. This said, no online storage is provided, which means that you have to save your work to a local drive when you've finished editing. Over at Avery.com, you will find another online image editor called Phoenix, as well as a rather nice vector-based drawing package called Raven. However, Avery's really exceptional media tools are its Minar audio editor and rock music creator. Minar permits multi-track audio recording and editing. All of the standard mixing controls are provided, as are a range of audio effects. 
there's also a very wide library of sample clips included to get you started. Or, as another option, you can use the Rock Music Creator to make your own audio loops and patterns. The Rock Sequencer has a great interface for creating your own compositions, includes over 50 free instruments, and is highly addictive. Finally, in this roundup of free cloud software, JCut is an online video editor. The package provides two video tracks, an audio track and an effects track, and allows users to add transitions and titles. Final movies can then be published directly to YouTube or other websites, or else downloaded to your computer in a variety of formats. The fact that video can now be edited in a web browser is also a great indication that cloud computing is starting to come of age. Already, there are loads of great cloud applications. For links to many of them, just look at the cloud computing directory on explainingcomputers.com or in my book, A Brief Guide to Cloud Computing. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.